A very important role model to me is my dad. He used to always say, I don't ever want to hear you say you can't do something. I'm Janelle Ayers. I am a principal investigator here at the Salk Institute, and we are interested in how our bodies interact with microbes and how those interactions are important for our health and how they can lead to disease. My lab at Salk, rather than asking how do we fight infections, we are asking how do we survive infections. The way we've been thinking about treating infectious diseases is that we have to annihilate the pathogen through vaccines, antimicrobials. But if you actually look at what's going on, our overuse of antibiotics has driven this global crisis of antibiotic resistance. With the approach we're taking, manipulating the disease tolerance system, it's driving the evolution of a cooperative relationship between the host and the microbe. So we've just changed it so that it's not pathogenic to the, the host anymore. What Janelle's work did is it's opened a new dimension to understanding host microbial interactions, to understanding infectious diseases. And that created a whole new discipline uh, within immunology and within infectious diseases. What I think puts Janelle apart from most of her peers is that she finds this new perspectives that are very much grounded in a deep biological intuition. She doesn't follow the crowd. It's not a job, it's a lifestyle, it's a privilege to be a scientist. My lab threw me a celebration for winning the Blavatnik Award and they all came out dressed up as me wearing a blonde wig. It's an award that I think fits the spirit of the Salk Institute, which is do not be afraid to go in new directions, to think outside the box and to really challenge paradigms and basic assumptions. We want to define the full spectrum of disease tolerance mechanisms and learn how to effectively manipulate them in a host so that we can translate that to patients. Patients of infectious diseases before, they, they were faceless to me, but now, um, you know, I, I definitely see my dad and my dad dying of sepsis was, it shouldn't have happened. We should be doing better and so he's always on my mind now and I think with what we're doing it it could really make a difference and we're too late for him but we can help other people in the future.